What's going on guys? This is Burrs. I want to talk to you today about bison coolers. You might see the word brute coolers on this. They changed their name. I'm not exactly sure why, uh, but I do have a brute cooler, which is the same thing as what the bison coolers are. They just basically did a rebranding. And I use this for over a year now. Um, as you can see, it is definitely dirty. You don't tell my wife that I have this in uh, the kitchen table. But either way, we're just going to review this today. It's getting towards the summertime where you really need a great cooler. I think uh, Bison Coolers makes a great cooler. And uh, like I said, I've been using this for a year. I used it last summer. I bought it in white because I don't want to have the sun, uh, you know, white reflects, black absorbs. Don't want a dark color, so I went with the white. And uh, the really cool thing is they put it on the top here, or you can get on the top, different stuff. So mine has the come and take it on the top, uh, which blends in real well. You can see it's definitely not, definitely not super lightweight. And that's a good thing. Uh, so let's talk about this. You know, you're looking at a uh, 75 quart uh, cooler. They use uh, a high pressure injection molded uh, insulation on the sides and all around. And they have these hinges on the front, which uh, keep the cooler in place. You have lockable, uh, you know, areas right here. You have integrated, integrated uh, handles. And you also have uh, some handles right out here if you need to get for further out there. Cool thing about this is, you know, it's hardcore. If you're gonna go buy something, you know, I bought coolers in the past uh, from Igloo. I bought coolers in the past uh, from, what's the other one? Uh, Coleman. And uh, there's another brand out there. I forget the, the name, but you know, I bought, I bought a lot of coolers over my lifetime. And um, having a cooler like this that you can literally beat the shit out of and not have to worry about, you know, the insulation cracking if you, if you, you know, accidentally sit on it and you're around the campfire and someone sits on it and then the insulation cracks and now your R value and your insulation factor kind of goes down the tubes a little bit. I don't have that issue with this. I don't worry about this at all. And, um, you know, it's definitely a hardcore American made uh, kick ass cooler. The one other cool thing on the top here is it has a integrated ruler. Um, so I'll get a picture of that. So it has a ruler on the top. So say you're out fishing, get some, you know, nice uh, catches, you bring them back, you can measure them and, uh, you know, do everything you need to do there. So that's really cool. So they have a lot of different things going on with uh, how they design this. I'll go ahead and open it up show you what that looks like you can see it definitely says brute coolers the inside as you can see is clean um, and i'll put the camera in here um, to show you that and as you can see around the edges you, know, you can see it's definitely dirty as hell because it's white but uh, you can see on the inside it's perfectly clean there's nothing going on, on the inside which uh, is a testament to the design that they have you can see it's a nice thick you know top to it um, you know, you're talking probably about uh, you know six you know, four to six inches there of, uh, you know, insulation value on the top here. And I've had this thing in some pretty crazy heat and it lasts a really long time. Uh, I don't have any specs on how long it lasts, but if you're gonna compare it to something out there like an Igloo or something like that, um, it definitely lasts um, longer than what you'd see with like the maximum, um, you know, Igloo offering that's out there in the market. You know, for the price, you definitely want something that's gonna be the best on the market. You're gonna be spending a few hundred dollars for this, but in the long run, it's gonna last a lot longer. You know, you're probably gonna be buying two of those Igloos for the same, you know, uh, duration that this one's gonna last. You know, this is gonna last probably close to a lifetime. And, um, you know, the Igloo coolers are starting to come along and, and Coleman and other ones that are out there, you know, they're starting to try to keep up with, you know, places like, you know, uh, Bison uh, coolers. You know, Bison is definitely one of the top notch companies out there making coolers. The one thing I'm really impressed with is actually the hinge here. Um, I haven't seen any problems with this hinge. It's a one piece hinge that goes all the way down as far as the uh, bar goes. Sometimes on other hinges, you'll see on each hinge, they have um, the rod. On this one, they actually have uh, the rod that goes all the way through, so it's a continuous rod. I'll go ahead and show you that. So there's a continuous rod that goes down through this whole thing, and um, you don't have to worry about just having sectioned um, you know, uh, hinges, which can break off, and I've seen that on other coolers. So uh, they definitely have thought about you know, what they're doing here with this cooler. As far as the bottom goes here, you have these rubber um, sides here. So wherever you put it, it's, just gonna, it's gonna stay. Um, particularly in the back of a pickup truck. You slap this into some place, it's not gonna go anywhere. This rubber is extremely grippy and uh, I haven't seen any real tumbling around or anything of mine. You know, you, s you throw it in somewhere and it's, it stays, so you don't have to worry about that. As far as the dimensions go, you know, you're looking at 35 by 16 and a quarter by 17 and a half uh, for this 
um, 75 quart one. You know, this is coming in at around 30 to 35 pounds as far as the weight goes. And compared to stuff in you know Walmart, you know igloo coolers, Coleman coolers, whatever, um, you know obviously it's going to be heavier than those for the most part. Um, at the same time, though, this is going to last a lot longer. And like I said, you're not going to have durability issues with this like you would with a Coleman or an igloo. So that's definitely a, a selling point there. You know, they make lots of different sizes uh, as far as the coolers go. So you can go from a you know tinier one to even ones that are larger than this, which as you can see, it barely fits on the camera that I have here. Um, but you know, I've been really impressed with mine. You know, the fact that you can lock it down, I like that. Um, if, if you're somewhere where uh, you want to lock this and, and not have, you know, either animals or not have, you know, people get into your stuff. Like say you leave like your campsite and you're, you're paranoid about people getting into your stuff, you can lock it down. And the thing I like most about it is these quick release uh, straps. You can't push up on this to get it open, uh, but yet all you do is flip these up and it comes right open. Um, so it's a quick release system. And you know, compared to some other ones, like I've seen like a Coleman where you just open it and shut it, you know, I've never gotten that secure feeling uh, when I shut, you know, like an igloo or a, uh, like a Coleman. Um, and I'm constantly referencing those because for the most part, people have those. People aren't looking to buy a couple hundred dollar, um, you know, cooler. Um, but when you look at it in the long run, it's definitely something I feel as though, you know, you buy once, cry once, you're buying American made product. Uh, you're supporting your fellow people who are, you know, at the Bison Coolers uh, company making these things and um, you know the fact that they had the different graphics you can put on top you can customize it and pretty much do whatever you want so if you're looking for a great cooler uh, I say to look no for further than bison coolers there's other coolers on the market that perform just as well but you know for the one I picked and the one that I have is a bison cooler and that's the only one I can talk about uh, today so if you guys have any questions or anything, go ahead and let me know. If you guys have some coolers out there that you feel as though it can compete with the Bison Cooler, or if you have a Bison Cooler or a Brute Cooler or Brute Outdoors Cooler, which is what this was when I bought it, uh, go ahead and um, put that in your, uh, your comment down below, or better yet, make a video about it. Until next time, later. Is Yeah, it's a little bit heavier, um, but you're an American, at least if you're watching this. If you're an American, <laughs> what the f am I even trying to say?